Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Czech Republic, Tomasz Petricek, on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty the King hailed the bilateral cooperation and the development witnessed in all fields. His Majesty welcomed the Czech Minister, who conveyed to him the greetings and appreciation of the Czech President, Miloš Zeman, and his wishes of advancement to the people of Bahrain. His Majesty asked the guest to convey his greetings to the Czech President and his wishes of progress and prosperity to the Czech people. His Majesty noted the advanced level of bilateral relations, affirming the Kingdom's aspirations to develop its relations with the Czech Republic in all fields for the interests of the two countries and their people. He stated that Bahrain welcomes all without distinction and has had for decades places for worship for various religions and sects which stems from the traditions and customs of the people of Bahrain. The meeting included discussions of a number of topics as well as regional and international developments. The Czech Foreign Affairs Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, commending Bahrain's keenness on communication and fostering dialogue between religions and cultures. He expressed hope to work with the Kingdom for the interests of the two countries, asserting his country's endeavor to develop the bilateral relations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today Egyptian Ambassador to Bahrain Suha Ibrahim Mohammed Rifat, where she delivered a written letter from P President of Egypt Abdel Fattah al Sisi, which included an invitation to attend the third edition of the World Youth Forum, which will be hosted by Egypt and Sharm el Sheikh next December. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Egyptian President for the invitation, hailing the strong fraternal ties between the two countries and the advanced level of joint cooperation in all levels. His Majesty expressed pride and appreciation in the historic role of Egypt and the regional and international levels and its importance, co important contributions in serving human civilization. His Majesty also affirmed the U.S. pivotal role in developing nations and achieving comprehensive development goals and ensuring their sustainability, wishing the World Youth Forum success in meeting the youth aspirations and serving the causes. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Czech Republic, Tomáš Petricek, at Gdaybia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of expanding bilateral ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Czech Republic across various levels. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain always seeks to build upon the strong partnerships it maintains in line with the directives of His Majesty the King. The two sides reviewed ways to further enhance coordination and cooperation in order to better serve the common interests of both nations. The minister expressed his thanks to His Royal Highness for his support in expanding the Bahraini-Czech relations. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also received the Chief Executive of Citigroup, Michael Corbett, at Gdaibia Palace. He stressed that the Kingdom continues to embrace the development of financial technology and nurture an environment conductive to further creativity and innovation within the banking and financial sectors. He added that Bahrain is committed to diversifying its national economy and investing in various sectors in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development efforts led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness highlighted the progress made in advancing Bahrain's information technology ecosystem and added that these efforts make Bahrain a favorable destination for investments. Corbett expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support in developing the banking and financial services sectors. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid Al Maraj, also attended the meeting. The 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Czech Republic, Petr Cech, today at the headquarters of the Foreign Ministry. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed welcomed his Czech counterparts and praised the deep-rooted ties that connect the two countries on all levels, especially given the keenness of both countries to coordinate among themselves on matters of common interest. The Czech minister praised the bilateral ties which are based on mutual respect and expressed appreciation for the role that Bahrain plays in maintaining the, pa the peace and security in the region. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The foreign ministers also discussed prospects for economic cooperation and their potential for further development, especially in the fields of health, tourism, investment, technology and defense. They also discussed regional international developments and condemned terrorism and extremism of all kinds and affirmed their interest in exchanging expertise in the fields of coexistence and interfaith dialogue. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in a discussion session on how the region transformed into a center for global investment as part of the Future Investment Initiative Forum held in Riyadh. The forum was attended by Saudi's Finance Minister, Mohammed bin Abdullah Jidan, and Kuwait's Finance Minister, Dr. Nayef Al Hajraf. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa stressed the importance of building a sustainable economy through providing an environment that enhances the role of the private sector in order to attract investment and achieve aspirations. He praised the region's efforts in enhancing its economy, proven in the international bank indicators, which placed Bahrain among the top 10 countries out of 190. The minister added that the initiatives taken by the kingdom raised the percentage of the non-oil sector by 7% annually, four times bigger than what it was 15 years ago. He added that the oil sector contributes 20% to the GDP and praised the role of the private sector in this regard. The minister highlighted the balanced budget program that was launched in 2018, which aims to balance the imports and expenditures by 2022. He praised the results of the program that benefits the local economy, which is proof that the kingdom is moving on the right path to achieve its desired goals. The minister added that the program also aims at paralleling the positive economic growth with the positive development of the financial situation, which contributes to the strengthening of the national economy. He said that Bahrain will continue to work to extinguish the deficit in the public debt and continue to implement plans and programs to facilitate procedures to contribute to open, to open wider horizons towards more promising qualitative opportunities to contribute to preserving the positive economic growth and benefit the country and its people. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with Kuwait's fin Finance Minister, Dr. Naif Al Hajraf, on the sidelines of the Future Investment Initiative Forum in Riyadh. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to further enhance the joint cooperation, especially in the economic field. He praised the ties between Bahrain and Kuwait, which reflects the role of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the role of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The minister praised the support of Kuwait towards Bahrain on all levels, stressing the importance of enhancing the joint partnership to enhance the economic growth and attract investments. The meeting included discussions of ways to further bolster the cooperation and recent developments in the regional and international arenas, in addition to a number of topics of common concern. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized the Vice Chairman of the Council, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, to head the Bahraini delegation to the 21st Ministerial Meeting on the Environment in the GCC, which took place today in Oman in the presence of Bahrain's Ambassador to Oman, Jum'a bin Ahmed Al Kaabi, and the Executive Officer of the Supreme Council for the Environment. His Highness Sheikh Faisal hailed the efforts of Oman in organizing the meetings in order to combine all environmental measures among the GCC countries. He also hailed the role of the General Secretariat of the GCC in organizing the meetings and coordinating with all parties involved. His Highness affirmed Bahrain's commitment to coordinating and cooperating with the GCC countries in this regard. The Oman Minister for Environment and Climate Affairs, Mohamed Atoubi, headed the meeting where he expressed honor for Oman's hosting of the event and appreciation for all efforts that have been exerted to meet the aspirations of the people. He stressed the importance of such meetings as they offer opportunities to discuss the latest developments in the field. 
His Highness expressed thanks to all attendees for agreeing to Bahrain's recommendations on unifying official lists of controlled and pro prohibited chemicals across the GCC countries on considering the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocols on substances that, substances that affect the ozone layer, on coordinating to preserve the sanitation of the seas, on working on joint GCC-wide emergency center, and on organizing a unified GCC exhibition on the environment. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to Amman's government and people and to the Amani minister as well as the staff of Amman's Ministry of Environment and Climate Affairs for organizing the meeting. Abdurrahman Kano International School held its ninth annual Kano Model United Nations Conference, bringing together over 500 students from different schools in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. More on this report. Abdurrahman Kanu International School held its ninth annual Kanu Model United Nations Conference at the Gulf Hotel under the patronage of Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Under Secretary of International Affairs, under the theme Wake Up Call. The conference brought together over 500 students from over 20 different schools in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. The uh, Model United Nations is a very important event for students. Uh, we in the Kingdom of Bahrain very much value the partnership with the United Nations. And such events uh, that are being organized over the years here in Bahrain uh, reflect the importance of the United Nations for the uh, development of nations. And having the students, especially from grades 10 to 12, to participate in uh, today's event, we have uh, more than 500 students from 20 schools uh, to discuss various uh, international trending topics. I believe it's uh, very important for them to understand the UN system, but also to address the uh, challenges that, that are facing the world. Something like KMUN gives the students the opportunity to develop confidence in debate, to look at particular issues, uh, to argue, to see things from different perspectives. And overall, we have to rely on the, their confidence because they're going to be our leaders for the future. The Kanu Model United Nations is an academic simulation that puts students into the roles of diplomats representing a country within a United Nations committee. The program aims to produce a generation of young people armed with the tools to build a better world. It's been a long journey with KMUN and uh, be, this being the ninth session of the MUN, we've come from a long you know, way and I, I would say that um, what I'm so proud about KMUN is uh, the opportunity that it provides to our students and to our young uh, adults because it puts them in a situation where they have to be empathic with uh, the global issues and the problems that we have in our world. And apart from being empathetic, they are able to um, you know, build consensus, come up with resolutions that can impact our world. Well, Kano Model United Nations has started long back, a while back, um, since 2013. Right now it's 2019, and uh, thankfully I'm the director of it, student director. Um, for this year, we have the theme of Wake Up Call. Mainly this theme is to bring the attention of everyone attending our MUN or heard about our MUN that we need to make a change. A lot has been going around, and the thing is we are all aware of it, but we're not acting on it. And that's what Kano and 2019 is thriving for. You can definitely see the amount of work that goes into this MUN. This MUN is not only an educational program, it's an, it's, it's an opportunity. It opens doors to every student to be able to experience what goes on in today's world. And I'm really glad to be able to participate and be part of the head team that leads this MUN and, and to make sure the delegates have an unforgettable experience. The Kanu Model United Nations, which comes in line with the school's vision and philosophy, aims to educate students about international politics, world events, and the role of the United Nations. Participants improve their ability to compromise, persuade, and lead, as well as learn about the world and become more internationally minded. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.